Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario. This is Miles Luigi. A lot of you said let's fight this boss without healing at all. So I'll take your advice and not fight this guy without healing at all. And see what happens. A good thing to do in every single battle is to tattle first, so might as well. Monstar. Not monster, monstar. But you can see he has 20 HP and no defense, so you can wall up on him with bow or do whatever you want. No defense. But Goombario can even figure out his attack power, so thinking naturally a boss this late in the game would have to have a big attack power and a shooting star. I suppose that'll work. Or not! <laughs> i like to congratulate all my subscribers for telling me the correct thing to do and not to heal before this battle. Because this thing is absolutely pathetic. But he serves a very good purpose. I have to give this monster credit for fooling everyone else out there, but not fooling Mario. And we quickly learn the monster is just a mirage created by all the little stars and for good purpose to keep the next village secure. Last thing you want is Bowser taking over Starborn Valley. So the existence of that monster was a very good existence to protect this city. Oh come on, this is a video game. It doesn't matter if it's below thirty in a video game. Most video game characters don't care if, what the temperature is as long as it doesn't damage them while they're in the area. Which usually doesn't happen unless it's really, really hot or really, really cold. It's not cold enough to phase Mario, so... so yes, we learn the importance of this place and how Bowser's followers should have taken over this place. It would have been very beneficial to them, but they haven't even bothered. So we learn quickly that, uh, we learn about this crystal palace, an old ancient palace that no one even remembers how to get to. And we get a scarf. This makes sense. I need a scarf to get to the crystal palace, because otherwise I'll freeze to death. Did I mention it's cold outside? Okay. We're on our way. Oh, I forgot something. Truth lies, not only eyes, sometimes even the walls may lie. I just want to tell everyone right now, if I get a wall that lies for Christmas, that'd be the best Christmas present ever. A wall that lies. Cause that'd be great. Then I could implement it in my room. Then anybody who comes into my room... I'll tell them to lean on that wall, and they try leaning on the wall, and they fall flat on their back. <laughs> that would be so funny. Now you guys know what I want for Christmas, a wall that lies. I'd like to take this letter to Gumpapa and Goomba Village. It's actually replied to her daughter. Oh fudge, I skipped over that too quickly. It's the letter to her daughter, but it's addressed to Goompapa. Might as well take the free heal. And we're on our merry way. Back to Shiver City, because there's another item we need before we can go up to the mountain if we were paying attention to the dialogue. Bad thing's after me. Come on. Look at spinning Mario. Aw, uh, okay, never mind. I'm just going to spin into you. Back, get back your coin. Oh yeah, something that was mentioned before. Hit this tree and look, the top just comes off. I did that before without even explaining it, I was explaining something else, and it's like... Oh, look at that. We still have our frozen popsicle here. Alright, back to Shiver City, and who would you guess would have this other item I need to climb the mountain? Hmm. 
wonder if it's the green penguin. No. I do know one thing I can do. I can store that repel gel. I'm not going to need it, at least for now. There we go. Same thing with the iced potato. You want to go to the next area in the game where we're going without too many items. You can bring a couple, obviously, as you should, but don't bring too many. You'll regret it later. Uh, yes, the mayor, so. Talk to the mayor. How about you? Yeah, you you called me a murderer before, and now you're all nice. There is something like that. Yeah, the mayor has it. A prized public possession. Now, to me, it's a bucket. I got a bucket. So, what does a scarf and a bucket have to do with each other? Hmm. Eh, thank you. Scarf and bucket. Well, you can put the scarf in the bucket, or you can put the scarf around the bucket, or... I suppose if you tie the scarf around the bucket in a special way, it could almost look like a neat little Christmas ornament. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. If you've been paying attention to our, uh, backgrounds here, you may have already figured it out, or if you've played this game, you may have already figured it out, but, uh... Usually when you play through this game and you don't know what to do, you're like, okay, I need to go to the next area of the game using the scarf and the bucket. And you come back here, and you look at these snowmen, and you're like, oh, look at this. You are missing your bucket, and you are missing your scarf. That's one hell of an ancient secret that had to take some marvel of engineering to make that such that when a scarf and a bucket gets placed on two snowmen, a door opens up for us. Gotta love the ancients and their ancient secrets. But yes, you're given a save point immediately that I guess I recommend using. Because we'll be meeting new enemies, as you can guess. Uh, after we break the ice and then raise the platform. No new enemies here. We Okay. In case you haven't already noticed, this place and the final area of the game take a pretty large toll on your HP and FP, so even if you haven't maxed out your badge points yet, it's usually a good idea to now concentrate your level ups on at least getting to 40 HP and 40 FP, unless you're doing a special run. Um, now would be a good time for multi-bounce if I had it on. Mm. Yeah. I totally forgot what this egg muscle did. Why don't I throw it? I remember it's a funny item. I remember that much. Oh, that could have been more useful later. Oh well. It was funny. <laughs> Okay, and one more power shell and you're all dead. And there we go, plenty of star points to raise. I'm gonna go with FP this time. Alright. One moment, please. Okay, back. Had to take care of a real life thing. I remember there being invisible blocks here now, now that I think about it. Yep, exactly. That one's important. That's an ultra shroom. That one we're keeping for later. It's a good thing I remembered that. I would have gotten it on the way back, I think, but... It's a good thing I remembered that. You can obviously see the switch here. If we come over here, I'm going to pick out the pebble. Don't bother using the pebble. The pebble has a different purpose that I'll show later on. Instead, bring out... Uh, 
Cooper and hit the switch. And come on, hit the switch. Okay, and we'll look at that. There are now two Coopers. Everyone's now confused. Hmm. No! What's wrong with my eyes? You look just like me. Imposter, who are you really? Tell me your name. I'm Cooper. Yeah, that's it. The question is, who are you? What, what, what? That's impossible. I'm the one and only Cooper. You're talking crazy talk now. You're making no sense. I'm the genuine Cooper. Really? Come on, Mario. You know me. This guy's a big liar. I'm not lying, Mario. You know I'm Cooper, don't you? Don't you recognize your buddy? Shut your mouth, goody goody. I'm his buddy. Yeah, that's it. Why, you, you're the one who should shut his mouth. I'm his buddy. Listen, Moroner Mario, you have to decide who's lying. Uh, that's the only way. Pick the one who's lying and whack him really hard with a hammer. Yeah, fine with me. If you think that I'll get away with the trick like that, fine. I know Mario knows who I am. I believe in you, Mario. I'll let you guys decide who I should whack on the next episode of Let's Play Paper Mario. This is Miles Luigi.